All right, so now that we've got our app pretty much set up, the next thing that we're gonna do is go through and create all of the pages that we're gonna need for the time being. So there's going to be three main pages, as I said. One is going to be the notes list page, and one is going to be the notes detail page, and the other page is going to be the not found page. We're just gonna set that up up front because it's always a good thing to have for testing purposes. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna create a new folder, and we're gonna call that folder pages. Okay, and just one thing I wanted to point out here is that personally, when my apps are on the smaller side, as this one is right now, I like to divide up my app into pages, components, uh, contexts, etc. right? Do more of a function-based organization. And as the app gets larger, I tend to like to switch that over to feature-based organization, right? Once we start dealing with things like different users, once we add more types of resources to our application, like maybe we add products to our application, that's when I like to switch over to feature-based organization where we would instead have our application divided up into like users, notes, products, articles, that kind of thing, right? But for now, it's easier just to use pages, components, etc. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, now inside this pages folder, what we're gonna do is say new file, and we're gonna start off by creating our notes list page, which will act as a sort of homepage for our application. And oops, there we go. We're gonna call it notes list page. Actually, why don't we just call it notes page? That's easier. So notes page.js, that'll be our notes page. We're gonna create a new file here, which we'll call note detail page is what I wanted to say. And then we'll say new file and we'll create our not found page. All right, so these are the three main pages of our application. Let's just go in and add a very basic skeleton component to each, uh, just so that we can set up routing in our application. All right, so what we're gonna do is say export const notes page equals, this page isn't gonna take any props and it's going to just return a heading for now that will say my notes. Simple enough. Now we're just gonna copy this and paste it into note detail page. We'll change this to note detail page and we'll change the heading here to uh, this is a note, something like that, right? We'll be replacing that later on. This is mostly just to get the routing set up. And then for our not found page, uh, let's actually just copy and paste some of the stuff from our note detail page. This one we can actually implement almost entirely right now. We're just gonna say something like, how do you get here for the heading? All right, something kinda snarky there. And then for the paragraph tag underneath, we'll say something like, it looks like this page doesn't exist. Sorry about that. All right, and of course, we're going to have to wrap these two elements in React fragments since uh, you know you can't return more than one top level element from a React component. All right, and then of course, we need to change the name of this component to not found page. And there we have it. We have our three pages all kind of mocked out. So let's create the routes for these pages. Now, previously, when we've added routes to an application, we've added it directly to the app.js component. And generally, this is a fine thing to do, especially in smaller applications. But what I personally like to do, if I suspect that an application might get large and complicated at some point, is I like to actually create a separate component here, which we'll call routes. So what I'm gonna do is say, new file, We'll just create it inside the source file here. And we're gonna call this component routes.js. Now basically this is just gonna contain all of the routing logic for our application. So what we're gonna do inside of here is we're gonna say export const routes, obviously. And inside here, we're gonna need to actually use the React Router DOM package and the components that it provides to display each of our other pages when the user is at specific routes. All right, so first of all, what we're gonna have to do there is we're gonna have to install the React Router DOM package. And to do that, we can say npm install React Router DOM and hit enter. And that will install that package for us. So what we can do now is import all of the components we're gonna need here. The first one is going to be browser router, 
which just by convention, we usually rename to router, just makes it easier to work with. We're also gonna import the switch component and we're also gonna import the route component. All right, and we're gonna import all of those from the React router DOM package, as I said. All right, so now that we have those components, we're going to display all of our pages here inside their respective routes. So we're gonna say return. And the first thing, we're gonna have to wrap all of this inside our browser router component, right? That's the one that sort of provides the current route inside the user's browser to our route components and allows them to kind of display or not display accordingly. And inside here, we're gonna have a switch which makes sure that only one route component is displayed at a time. And inside there is where we're gonna define our routes. So the first route we're gonna do is for our notes page. And as I said, this is gonna be sort of our homepage for our application. So we'll say route. The path for this one will be a slash route. And inside here, we're gonna put our notes page. So let's go up here and import that by saying import notes page from pages slash notes page. And then inside this route, we're gonna just say notes page, and that will take care of displaying the notes page when the path is equal to the slash route, all right? So in other words, when the user goes to localhost 3000. Cool, so next up, we're gonna have our notes detail page. Now, since our notes detail page is going to be displaying different data depending on uh, you know what note the user is actually looking at, we're gonna need to use URL parameters here. So what that's gonna look like is we're gonna say route, the path is going to be slash notes slash, and then we'll put the note ID as the URL parameter, right? And as you'll see later on, inside the note detail page, we're basically going to get the value of that part of the URL and use that to load the appropriate notes information from you know wherever it is we're loading that information from. We'll get to that later. So for now, inside this route, we're gonna put the note detail page. So let's import that up here. Import note detail page. And down here inside our route, note detail page. And lastly, we're gonna display the route for our not found page, which as you might recall, is done by just displaying a route component without a path prop. And inside there, we'll put our not found page, which we need to import first. We'll say import not found page from pages not found page. And inside here we'll say not found page. Okay, and those are our three pages for now. So let's go into our application, right? We'll might have to run it again by saying npm run start. And we should be able to see that all of these pages are displayed at their appropriate routes. Ah, and it's actually only displaying code goes here. That's because we have to actually go back to our code open up our app component and replace this code goes here thing with the new routes component that we created. So let's say import routes from routes. And right here, we'll display our routes. Oops, I wanted to do that. There we go. We'll display our routes like that and that should take care of it all. So we see right here, if we're on the home route, we see my notes. If we go to slash notes slash one, two, three, for example, we'll still see my notes. Now, the reason for that is that we need to actually add the exact prop to our homepage route to make sure that it's only displayed when the route exactly matches that. You may remember that from before. And now that we've done that, we should see this is a note, which is our note detail page. And just to test our not found page now, let's just type in something ridiculous that doesn't exist. And we'll see how'd you get here. It looks like this page doesn't exist. Oops, doesn't existing. That's not correct English. Let me go back and correct that doesn't exist, sorry about that. Must have been looking at something else while I was typing that. Anyway, there we go. So that's our not found page and that's all we need to do to set up our pages. Now, one last thing that I wanna set up. I would like to have the notes list page displayed on slash notes, but in order to actually have the user be sent there after going to the home route, we have to set up what's called an automatic redirect for the home route, right? So in other words, when the user goes to localhost 3000, they'll automatically be redirected to localhost 3000 slash notes. This is a strategy that a lot of different sites use to uh, allow themselves to change their homepage if need be. 
So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna open up our routes.js file again. And what we're gonna do first of all is change the path of our notes page to slash notes. And we still do need to keep this exact prop here because if we take it off, that means our notes page will uh, basically take over this route here and not allow our note detail page to be displayed since the first segment of both of those paths is the same. Okay, that's something we discussed earlier. Above that, what we're gonna do is create a new home route by saying route path equals slash. And this does have to be exact as well. Okay, and inside this route now, instead of displaying an actual page component, we're going to display another component from React Router DOM, which will be called redirect. Okay, so this redirect component, uh, you may have seen it before, is just a component that if it's displayed, will automatically redirect the user to a different route. Okay, so the way that we set this up for our home route here, we're just gonna say redirect, and we're gonna say to as the prop, and that's basically where we tell it where to redirect the user to, as the name might suggest. So that will automatically take care of redirecting the user to this route whenever the user goes to the home route, and we can see this by opening this back up and going to the slash route, and we'll see that it will automatically redirect us to notes whenever we do that. And that's how to set up all of the pages for this application. So I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.